So go back to some more The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time, we got turned into a wolf and discovered the fate of Hyrule Castle thanks to Princess Zelda surrendering to Zant. Yeah, things are not good in the uh, Hyrule realm, let's just say that much. And we are now tasked to find a sword and shield, so we will go and do that. Hello, Bacoblin dude. These are kind of different than the other Bacoblins. Not really. They die in the same way. They're just green. Yeah, I don't get it either. I think the blue ones are a little more tankier, but I digress. Let's head back into Ordon. So, yeah, we don't have any ability to turn back into a human at all, so we're kind of just stuck beating people to death with our snout, I guess. I, mean, I, I know we're biting them, but I think it's more funny if we're just booping them in the head with our snoot. Anyway, I guess we'll just go into town and... Wait! Uh, Chipmunk. Thank you for taking care of those bad guys. They made both the village and the forest a mess. They kidnapped the village children. But I know you're not one of them. I can tell because you smell like the trees of Ordon. If you run into any trouble, try talking to the animals. We animals understand one another, so you'll be alright. Sure. Mr. Chipmunk Man, why is it going into a cutscene? Oh, it was actually loading me into the next area. I... okay. So yeah, bad things are happening in this village, too. Ugh. Oh, how did it come to this? The children. Please say nothing's happened. Please forgive your good-for-nothing father. Kind of depressing much. So you can see out here, uh, you kind of want to dodge this guy for the most part. You can see the mayor talking to Blockhead McGee over there. And they got some information. Oh, about the shield. Hey, not so loud. Duh. Yeah, the funniest thing is if you go from furthest away. <laughs> I came to it as we discussed in the tiniest text possible. I always love that little detail. You want to come up in the grass a little bit, and then... Oh, okay. I gotta be a little closer. So that shield is still in your house, right? Duh, yeah, it should be in our storage loft. Good. Go grab it, quick as you can. Russell got wounded pretty bad, so he can't go search for the kids. I'll take over for him. But Russell had a sword, Mayor, and he still got hurt. If you're unarmed, you're done for. I'll be fine. The sword we were going to present to the royal family should still be at Russell's house. Ah. Oh, yeah? All right. I understand, Mayor. I'll hurry up and get that shield. You just wait here. Oh, hello. <gasps> no good. Run! They just... <laughs> is that a dog just sitting outside of the house? Oh, it is. What? what where was the dog? Uh, okay. Yeah, thanks. Eh, look at that open window. This village is full of idiots. So, we should jump up there, but from where? Eh, we'll find out soon enough. This really isn't all that bad. I'll show what happens if you run towards this torch. But monster! You've returned for more, haven't you? My, my daughter, return her! And take this! You really can't tell the difference between a wolf and me, huh? Oh, yeah, he's using the hawk against us. Yeah. I learned that from Link. Yeah, he six the hawk after you. And to way to dodge the whole thing. Oh, I can talk to the cat. That's a really good camera angle. Were you attacked by that hawk? You're no match for him. I'm sorry. That person calling the hawk is my master's husband. You could sneak up from behind and scare him, meow. Sure. So, yeah. You can have Midna. Come on, let's get to the... Uh, okay, I thought... Yeah. Are you not wanting me... Oh, you are wanting me to go up there. I thought you were just talking. My bad. So, yeah, we can just sneak up, sneak up on him. Sneak up on him? What? Cool! Jump into the water because it's a wolf. Yes. Jump onto the water wheel. And we make it inside. Like, seriously, why would they just have that... Open, I guess for ventilation, but I, you can see the kids drew on the wall a little bit. That's kind of stupid. 
And, uh, wait, where is the... Oh, it's up here, derp. Stand on the table, and mid the... Ah, uh, something. Found it! Found it! You... I found it. I'm the one who climbed on the table, damn it. And there is... A shield. Uh, do I have to... Oh, I have to attack the wall. I was trying to bonk into it. It's like, why is this isn't this working? The Ordon Shield! Can't really use it, but hey, it looks cool on our back. Looks kind of cheap. Alright then, next is a sword. Hurry up and get one. Thanks for the help, jackass. Into the water we go. What was that sound? The children could not have returned, could they? I must go and search one, uh, one last time. You, uh, you get inside the house. I place the sword that was to be our gift to Hyrule on the couch. If the mayor comes for it, please give it to him. But, darling, your injuries... Not much of a choice when <laughs> most of the population in this town is children. For the most part. Now, yeah, you pretty much just want to avoid this guy at all costs. You could just go over here. I think he tries to fight you or he just runs away or something. But yeah, poor guy is limping. Like, I feel really bad for him. Oh, crap. He, can he actually see me from here? Oh, you, okay, he looks right at me. Yeah, there's a diggable spot right over here. Man, they really got to work on the infrastructure uh, infrastructure of all of their, like, buildings. Seriously. Inside is the Ordon Sword, crafted by Russell. Alright, so now you have a sword. Looks like you can actually be useful when you concentrate. All right, no more detours. I'm going to take you back to the or er, back into the twilight. Go back to the woods where you first transformed into that shape. Thanks. And diggy 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 diggy. So yeah, pretty simple in that case. You can go and talk to all the different animals. What, what do you guys say? Oh. Be a wolf on a night when the moon rides high. Beautiful. Tell me, is your true form a human who is cur not currently in the town? Not nah, just teasing. You're lucky. Your sharpened X senses and your soft looking coat. Lovely. I don't know what that voice was, but you know what? It was some. Wait, what? what? I could talk to the frogs? Maybe. Maybe. I didn't think anyone would come calling, so I. I haven't thought of anything to say. Sorry. Good. <laughs> Thank you, frogs. I, I, can, do you, you, you say anything else? To humans, this must seem like an average country town, but to us, it's paradise. You should take a good look around this town. I can see stuff sparkling. Whether or not you can is, er, uh, yeah, yeah, you do the quality of your senses. Don't know why you went southern at the end there, but you know what? Everybody is southern in this town for some reason. Huh? Fresh face, huh? You're a sharp one to realize you needed to, uh, you needed to come and introduce yourself to me. If you want to know anything about this town, I can tell you. What do you say? I'm actually curious of what you say. Let me tell you, this usually is a quiet little village, but there was a bit of ruckus today. If you gotta know, monsters attacked the village and made off with the little brats. You look a bit like a monster yourself. If you're gonna be hanging around this town, you may want to stay out of sight of, uh, out of sight of the people. Thanks, chicken. <laughs> I. I'm just a wolf. I, I mean, I guess I'm a wolf with dreads, but still, I'm. St I'm just, it's just a wolf. The moment they have dreads on, <laughs> they're apparently a monster. But anyhow, this is pretty simple. We're just walking all the way back to where we first came. Well, back to the spring. Actually, not even back to the spring. We're going all the way back to the demon wall that took us into the twilight to begin with, so... Not too bad. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to get the sword and shield and... Okay, I guess we are going to the spring. Come to my spring. Okay. You have been transformed by the power of shadow. Come to me. Okay, up, up, high. Nice, thanks. Beware. A shadow being. It approaches... Thanks. Very helpful, man. And we get our introduction to the Twilight Beast dudes. Which I'll probably put their actual name on the <laughs> on the screen. Now, these guys show up a lot. 
and I have always referred to them as the Jamaicans. I, like, I'm not being insensitive or anything like that, but I just think it's funny calling them Jamaicans, just saying. Are we getting a Dragon Ball? Is that what's happening here? I don't know if that's actually how it works. I, I've never seen Dragon Ball Z, so, you know, I, I actually would not know. It's a goat! It's the spirit of the goat that we petted all that while ago. Like episode two or one, I don't know. I've already lost track. <laughs> uh, that's not a good sign. Ooh, brave youth. Hi, Mr. Goatman. The god of goats. I am one of four light spirits that protect Hyrule at the behest of gods. I am Ordona. The black beast you slayed was a shadow being. It had come to seize the power of light I wield. My brethren in Hyrule have already had their light stolen by these fell beasts. The entire kingdom has been reduced to a netherworld ruled by the cursed powers of darkness. Light will not stop with Hyrule. Before long, the entire world of light will fall into the hands of the king who rules the twilight. To save this land from the king of twilight, the lost light must be recovered. The three light spirits who have lost their light must be revived. There is but one who can revive them and redeem this land. You. You still have not discovered your true power. Those transformed by twilight usually cannot recover their original forms. Unless, if you were to return to Faron Woods where you were first transformed, you were, uh, if you were to revive the Light Spirit. There, by the power of the Light Spirit, you may find the means to regain your other state of being. Bye, Mr. Goat. It was nice seeing you. Well, that's cool and all, but I got other business. I gotta go back to the demon wall, you know? The demon wall that took us into the twilight to begin with. But what he's saying is true. The uh, recovering of the light brings us back to, well, the light side of the world and not the twilight. Hey, look. The Farron Woods that you know so well they're now covered in twilight. You may not be able to come back here, but do you still want to go? Not like I have much choice, lady. See you later. Thanks for grabbing me. Welcome to Faron Woods. But in the twilight. Yeah, it's kind of gloomy here. So these are the weapons you use in your world. Uh, why are you wearing the- Oh god, you're gonna cut my head off. You really think this thing can slay the creatures of Twilight? Well, I won't use these, but I'll hang on to them for you. Oh, 
All right, a promise is a promise. I trust you enough to help. In exchange for my help, though, I need you to gather some things for me. Look, I can't tell you all the details now, but it'll be easy, trust me. But enough about that. Do you hear that noise? It's the lamentation of the spear that, has, uh, that had its lice, yeah, light stolen. They were these things really weird. Where in the world could it be? Tee <laughs> Better get going, don't you think? Don't blame me for your world's fate if you don't hurry up and find that light. Well, aren't you just relaxed? Come on, snap to it. Mush, puppy. Mush. <laughs> So yeah, everything's in Twilight. I didn't mention this before, but in the Wii and GameCube version, things were very different when it came to the Twilight, at least design-wise. The Twilight in those games were mostly orange, and it was kind of blurry at most times. Very orange and bright, and also weirdly dark at the same time. They changed it a lot in the HD version, because it just looked really weird, in my opinion. I think at least, but some people are more fond with the original look of the Twilight Realm. Personally, I I like the HD versions better. It makes more sense. But we have more of the Jamaicans. Sorry, I'm sorry. I won't keep calling them Jamaicans because I don't want to piss off the wrong crowd, but I just think it's funny, damn it. You got these uh, shadow beasts. Uh, we're penned in again. Pfft, who do you think they are? Do, or who, who do you... What, what is wrong with me? Who do you think they're dealing with? No need to take these little pests down one at a time, right? You can take them all at once. So, you can handle this by yourself, can't you? Good luck. Bye. Thanks. Oh, God. Now, this is... You can actually get killed pretty easily here if you're not careful. Get me out of this. Okay. Yeah, so you want to try to take out two of these. You cannot take out all three. If you take down a two, yeah... The other one gets pissy, and it resurrects them from the dead. Man, Rita, it's got a freaking upgrade, huh? Midna, I need help. What's the holdup? If you leave the last one alive, it's just going to use that shriek to bring the others back. Listen, let me help you out there. Just move like I tell you. You just hold down B, and I'll expand, uh, expand an energy field. So enclose all the enemies within it and release. Yeah, this move is kind of OP. It's infinite use, and it one-shots these dudes. Auto-tracks, all the works. Pretty cool. Yeah, Midna can fight too. The reason why I was saying be careful there is you can actually die there. You can get a game over right there. It's not a tutorial. It's an actual fight. Anyway, we just found another spring. Not too far off from where Ordona Ardo was. That's kind of funny. Hello, light spirit thing. Please, be careful. These woods have changed. The dark clouds of dusk cover this land. This drape of shadows is called twilight. In this twilight, those who live in the light become as mere spirits. It is a place where the dark ones and evil creatures dwell. I am a spirit of light. Blue-eyed beast, look for my light. Retrieve the light stolen by the dark beasts and keep it in this vessel. These things are back. Vessel of light, crucial for collecting the tears of light. Fill the tears of light, you might be able to uh, cut through the twilight. That's not what it said at all, but I like to have my own interpretation. In the shadows of twilight, the dark insects are as invisible as normal beings are here. Let me use the last of my power to reveal the locations of the dark insects that consume the light. Thanks. Convenient that you have a map, too. Find the insects of darkness. The dark insects, they are, from, uh, they are the form taken by evil once it has latched on to our scattered light. So yeah, these come back from Skyward Sword. Technically, th this game did it first, but then you know, Skyward Sword did it later. But anyway, Twilight, Deku Baba, yeah, they're easy to kill. And we got these bugs, these light tear bugs. Grab the tears and fill up the vessel. They made this immensely easier in the HD version. 
a lot of the locations have been changed and there's less tiers in general now which is kind of nuts i actually recommend going to the right first because yeah uh our weird hippie dude's not here but there is a tier of light within this building so we gotta go in here somehow uh minna please help me hmm looks like i can get in th uh, get in there I keep wanting to say, like, so many other words in that. I don't know why. I think my mind's like, I'm going to try to find the shortcut, and then I get locked up. <laughs> eh, whatever. So if we turn on our senses, yeah, he's here. <laughs> What's with these bugs? Those things ain't normal. Unlike you. They're so big, so weird, so creepy. Come on, get away, bugs. Shoo, get out of here. Yeah, that's how you get rid of a roach. <laughs> And yeah, deal with the infestation. They always die in one shot. They're pretty easy to kill. Nothing to it. What? They just died? Oh boy, I have no idea what's going on around here. Yeah, maybe you lay off of the, uh, let's just say natural plant life around here. Just saying. Yeah, not exactly the best of ideas. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, if you're playing along on the Wii or uh, GameCube version, things might be a lot different when it comes to the Tears of Light because, as I said, they lower the amount of them in the game in general and they change a lot of the locations. Can I please hit you? Oh my god, you're being so damn annoying. You can also do this to guarantee the kill, but I, I was trying to be fancy, damn it. Uh, whatever. Into the cave. At least the torches are still lit up from last time. You got some Twilight Keys. I'm not going to worry about them. There's no point fighting them. Also, there are no tiers of light within this cave system, so we do not need to worry about it. Hello, weird tentacle thing. I don't know what you are. A lot of the Twilight Beasts are just really weird. I don't know a lot of the official names for them, except for like the Twilight versions of generic enemies like Keys and Kargarok, so... Forgive me for that. Also, Poison Swamp is Poison Swamp. Yeah, what do they do here, man? You got one on the side of the thing there. Also, if they're shooting electricity off like that, they will hit you. So, that's... Minna's move just breaks through, it, which is so stupid, and I love it. Yeah, we need a way across this. But, conveniently enough, there is a platform for us to use. Hey, think we can get across over there? Sure. Jump on over to the side. Pretty easy. Swamp's not all that hard to get through, but yeah, this poison's just here forever at this point in the game, so get used to it. Got a couple bugs here. Uh, get over here. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Easy money. I already almost have it done. I didn't think we are going to have it all the way done this episode, but here we are. And just keep spamming on through and avoid the Dekubaba and the case. And yeah. It's kind of fun. I do like the jumping sections with Minna. Now this one you actually have time, which, yoink. Just uh, be careful to not accidentally Z-target the keys and you'll be good. And we've made it to the other side, where two more bugs are awaiting for us. Now if they're underground like that, you have to dig them up, which works out pretty good. Uh, kill you, kill you, kill you, please. No, okay, you're doing that thing again, man. Or I could just... I, I was holding B the whole time, hoping for Midna, but yeah, no, it just did it on its own. Okay. That's fine. Two more left. Like I said, it's really not that hard getting the Tears of Light. Now, other areas are a little harder, but for the most part, they're pretty straightforward. You got more of these Shadow Beast dudes. And remember the rule. You always have to kill them. Well, you cannot leave one alive. You have to either kill one and then kill the pair, or kill the pair and then... Actually, no, you have to kill the one, then kill the pair. Yeah, never mind. Or kill them all at once, I guess. And keep in mind of those weird portal-looking things. We'll keep in mind of that later. Also, another thing you want to keep in mind of is this bridge. This is important for later. Do not forget about that bridge. Anyhow, let's keep on the moving. Got to go all the way up to this, uh, back, well, back where we, uh, was it, not Colin. I don't remember his name. <laughs> one of the children. <laughs> I guess. Malo? Not Malo. Talo? I th yeah, it's Talo. Because Malo's the baby. Anyway. Hey, can you see Eve? Yeah, you got the monkey here. Help! Yeah. 
It's where we saved the monkey and Tao. Uh, I did not mean to climb that. Sorry, monkey girl. But there is my, our tears. Someone, someone helped me? Boy, lucky for me. Ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now. What's happened? Eh, not my problem. What is my problem, though, is we got every sacred tier. The Vessel of Lights is full of tears, and the light has returned to the area. Brings, brings me back to the Skyward Sword days. God, that LP was so long ago. And God, I was such a bad LP here at that point. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Aw, but it was, like, it was so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about a world of light, anyway? See you later. And we got a chinchilla monkey thing. I think it's supposed to be like an orangutan. Or, or, okay, that's definitely... No, it's like a chinchilla or something. It's gotta be... It's definitely a kind of monkey. I, I'm not sure. I don't know the significance of the designs on these guys. My name is Pharaoh. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of, God, of the gods, I protect this forest. O oh, brave youth. In the land covered in twilight where people roam as spirits, you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you, and that they are awakening. Look at yourself. Uh, or your awakened form. I, I tried to guess the text. It was not that great. Uh, where did I get this outfit? You'll probably explain. The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Link. You are the hero chosen by the gods. Brave Link. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it is a power that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light. But this world weeps beneath a mantle of shadows, and so there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. I'm a real boy again. What is this hand? I've never seen my left hand before. I'm gonna eat it. Link is not a smart individual. He's just really brave. But we are a human again. Uh, hi, Minna. Well, well, you're the chosen hero and all that, huh? So that's why you turned into that beast. What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spear like the rest of them, totally unaware of what was happening for all eternity, right? Tee <laughs> So what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look. You want to you wanna help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple, waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. Hello, bird. See you later. Into my shadow that you go. So yeah, we're a human once again. Finally, dang God. Uh, I love being Wolf Link and all, but God, at the beginning of the game, it's, it, yeah, you suffer a lot because there's not a lot you can do, but... Anyway, that is a pretty good stopping point for this 
episode. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. That is a really long title, Jesus. We'll be starting to make our way to the Forest Temple. But we got a couple of errands before we go and do that. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.